Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the concept of parking enforcement and its influence on accidents, guys. Okay, yes. So, parking control. So, failure to provide suitable parking facilities can result in congestion and accidents. So, basically, if we are not providing proper parking, so the situation will be in this way, guys. So, if you observe here, okay. So, here is an example. So, even on the road, they will be parking, right? Yes. So, assume this is a road. This is a parking lot, but they will be parking in this way on the roads also, right? Yes. So, if you want a real example, just give me a second. I think we took an example right yes so here if you observe some part of the road is occupied by the parking itself right yes so in this way they will be parking guys so that is the reason why parking is really important and there should be some rules and regulations for it right yes so your question will be so how does parking affect in any kind of accidents or anything okay so parking and unparking of vehicles can cause accidents to pedestrians and cyclists so as they are parking beside the road and the pedestrians and everyone will be walking in that particular area there is a chance that the park the while they are taking out of the parking there could be an issue right similarly opening of a car doors during parking can suddenly cause accident to pedestrians so basically assume that you suddenly opened your door so someone who is walking it might hit him right yes so in that way similarly parking generally reduces the street space so if the street is till here if the parking is occupied till here and this side also parking is occupied till here now the street is just this much guys so in that way right yes so here parking are of two different types you can say guys so the first type is nothing but on street parking okay okay just give me a second okay so the first type is on street parking and the second type is nothing but off street parking okay so on street parking from the name only you can say so you will be parking your vehicle in the street on the street right yes so here a parking of the vehicles are parked on the side of the road okay so on street parking includes two types of parking the first is the parallel parking and the second is angular parking guys okay so parallel parking is a nothing but one after the other so basically as if a train so in that way they will be parking guys so if you want example just give me a second okay so here is an example so here this red car is parked back back of this gray car this gray car is parked behind this white car so in this way one after the other they will be parking so that parking is a nothing but the parallel parking okay similarly 90 degrees parking so if they are parking like this so this is the road and they are parking exactly perpendicular to it so that is nothing but the 90 degrees parking and angular parking will be in this way guys so if you notice here everyone is angled at this angle right yes so that is angular parking okay similarly off street parking i hope everyone knows off street parking clearly right yes so off street parking means in garages or in some private places right yes so away from a street in parking or garages okay so these are the example if you want to ask for example so they will be in this way okay so this is a parking lot and this is a parking apartment so basically in this area you can just go and you can park it so it is like an apartment you can say like one floor after the other floor you can go up and park it so in that way okay yes okay so i hope everyone got some basic idea so now let us go through few parking rules in india okay yes so do not abandon or park your vehicle trailer at a public place where may cause any kind of obstruction or inconvenience for someone okay so in any of those situations you should never park your car similarly ensure that you are parked your vehicle according to the road design or marking marks if any so if there are any marks your vehicle should be inside them only okay similarly you cannot park your vehicle in some places so those are nothing but in a no parking zone on footpaths on private property on main roads on a wrong side of the road on path that has been broken white in the center okay so when there are no broken lines sorry no white lines you should not park there okay so basically according to the rules on the road we will be having some white lines right yes so if you are parking something it should be out of that white line only so you should not even touch that white line guys please remember that okay so in front of the an enterprise okay yes or near the bus stop hospital school anywhere you should not park similarly in front of any road sign that could cause the obstruction for your vehicle okay similarly near a road crossing or any top of the hill 
or near any traffic signal so these are the common places which you should not park your car or vehicle right yes so i hope everyone got some basic idea so in the next lecture we will be discussing about a travel demand management we will be starting those topics guys okay yes so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching